if you take him away and you put him at someplace else and it's not an HBCU, watch the cameras turn again. Okay, and I know I'm gonna get quoted on this and I really don't care. Multiple sources, including ESPN's insiders, have been saying that Coach Deion Sanders could be accepting a role as Colorado's new head coach. You see here Adam Schefter on Instagram posted this, that multiple sources are saying that he has been making calls throughout the week um, about the job and trying to fill positions for his new job at Colorado. It's also been seen that the quarterback for Colorado has entered the transfer portal. If that's the case, that opens up the door for Shadora. Another thing that we've seen is that um, recruits have been saying that, hey, coach has been calling them saying he may be making a move to a power five. Coach Deion Sanders himself has been quiet about the decision, not about the offer, but about the decision. Here he posted, you know, who is Swag Baby, letting people know that he is hoping to dominate on Saturday in the game against Southern. However, if you noticed in the press conference, he did not focus on the Celebration Bowl. He did focus on the Swag Championship, which is going to happen prior to, prior to the Celebration Bowl, but maybe after his decision but it's true i'm not going to sit on here and tell all my business but they're not the only ones and i would be a, a liar if i told you they didn't you know they did i know they did everybody there know they did so it is what it is that's not uh my focus right now my focus is to to win and to be dominant and then to to uh, not even to go on to the to there in the celebration bowl my focus is right here in this beloved stadium to be dominant on saturday so Where's he going? Is he headed to Colorado? RG3 hopes so. Deion Sanders, Neon Deion, will be a head coach of a Power 5 program next year. Oh. You want to cheers it. Man, I want to I wanna cheers it, guys. I want to cheers it because I believe that Neon Dion has earned the right to be a Power 5 head coach. What he's done at Jackson State is, is nothing short of incredible. Went undefeated this year. Um, he has a great staff around him. You see that Colorado's interested in him. So right now with what's on the on the deck, I would say he should go to Colorado. Uh, they offered him the deal, Power 5 school. Um, he can recruit anywhere. This is a guy that, that he just has personality. Dion is different. It Some people don't believe it, and, and they just don't see it as, as you know, true. Accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And and while some people don't believe it, the reports are getting louder and louder, and it seems that this may be a possibility. Some people want those in disbelief to simply, I don't know. Up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake, wake, wake up out of your sleep, wake up. But for the most part, Coach Sanders has been pretty transparent. So if there is a move, if the move is imminent, people will know after the swag championship game he's gonna it's gonna be a thing however some people believe that once coach sanders is gone and once he's moved on the spotlight that's been on hbcus will be gone as well you know, I, I said this when i i heard that uh you know, sanders is going to be the head coach at jackson state um it, it's it's good for 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 hbcu football uh, it's good for the MEAC, it's good for the SWAG, it's good for, for all of us. Uh, because his platform uh, was already at a high level before he came uh, to the HBCU scene. See, a lot of us coaches like myself and Trey, you know, we, we were, we've been HBCU for a long time. And, you know, since we got into, in, into college, and, and that's a difference. Our love for HBCU and the MEAC and, and and, and those who coach it, like Eddie Robinson coach in the SWAC, it's a little bit different, okay? Because it was bred into us and we've been bred uh, in these different uh, conferences to where our love for the conference is different than Deion Sanders' love for the conference. You know, Deion, and I'm not saying anything negative about him, but his platform brought a lot of attention over to HBCU. HBCU has been here even before Rob Milstead got here, it was here. Okay, and, and for years, when there was, uh, things were kind of separate, it was the main thing in the black household was to go to an HBCU school. Now, because of Dion, HBCUs have been getting more streamlined and in the mainstream, 
uh, putting on all these other platforms and other people have been attaching their wagon uh, to him and his platform to be a part because now they see that all the cameras have turned around and they're on him, okay? If you take him away and you put him in someplace else and it's not an HBCU, watch the cameras turn again, okay? And I know I'm gonna get quoted on this, and I really don't care, okay? Watch the cameras turn again because he has a platform he has something that people want to see. He has something that's a showmanship. He's always been that way, even when he and I were teammates. You know, uh, I got a chance to, to 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 have a locker right next to him and 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 kind of try to understand his persona. And and to be honest with you, he's a phenomenal human being. If if you got a chance to talk with him, um, he's definitely about in uh, helping and mentoring uh, young black men. Uh, to, to have an opportunity to get in the league. I know some people question his motives. Uh, I don't uh, because I spent a year with him and I got a chance to know him uh, as, as a person besides what everyone else sees on, on TV. Um, uh, he just a, he's a guy who's true to what he's trying to do uh, in terms of uh, making a uh, better opportunity for, for men of color. And, and right now this platform is, you know, helping the HBCU. So wherever he goes next, uh, or if he goes someplace next, I'm quite sure that'll be his platform would change. But also keeping in mind that, you know, there's a lot of people at the HBCUs that have attached their wagon to him and hopefully he'll continue to pull us along as well. Opinions about this are all over the place. Some people believe it's true and are ready to resolve it. Some people are disappointed and they're letting their disappointment be known, right? And some people are basically saying, you know what, at the end of the day, good for him. And he's been able to come to HBCU sports and, and really make a difference. So the question really is at the end of the day, what's true, right? And then once we know what's true, we'll be able to deal with it um, and, and move on. But the truth will come out very, very, very shortly. Thank you for watching. Have a phenomenal day. God bless. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Ray J. I want to send a big shout out to the Titus Golden Foundation and Ozell Brand in Kansas City, Missouri. A brother see a need for the community and he's trying to rebuild it. That's big. Salute to Titus. Keep doing your thing. Keep being a philanthropist. Keep helping the community out. Community is what matters. Salute again.